All right, it's the final day of the Fox H1 Summer Bucket List Tour with Keith McGillivray and Rachel Piscatelli. And this morning, things are getting a little jungle crazy. They are heading to the Beardsley Zoo down in Bridgeport. Let's send things over to the dynamic duo for all of the excitement. You guys have made your way outside. I'm so excited to see what you have to show us. Yeah, hey, good morning, Erica. So I want to introduce you to uh, the North American River otters. First, I thought that they were excited to see me, but it turns out they're really excited to see Chris, who is going to feed them because they're hungry. Yeah, and Erica, <laughs> we're looking at Tahu. She is a mom of four just like you, and come breakfast time, they are ready to go. Uh, Chris, good morning to you. Tell good us morning. about the critters Tahu. we're seeing here. Good, Tahu. So these are North American River otters. Uh, we have our adult female, she is four years old, Tahu, and she's the mother of these uh, four kits down here that are running around. And uh, talk a little bit about kind of what's happening here for us. We saw that you fed the mom separately from the, the kits or the pups, uh, depending on how you want to call them. But um, talk about kind of what you're doing. So what I'm trying to do right now is, is each otter is supposed to get a certain amount of food. We do that to maintain their health, make sure that nobody gets overweight or just overfed. Um, but Tahu is making it difficult by running around and trying to be in control of the situation because she's the mom and she's the boss. <laughs> Makes oh, sense to me. Chris, when we talk to folks like you, Good. I always like to have you share advice with kids who are at home watching who say, hey, Chris has a really cool job. What do you love about it? What would you say to a kid who's watching who may want to follow in your footsteps? Um, that's tough because I've, I've always just wanted to be a zookeeper, so mm -hmm. I did everything I could to try and make it happen. So I started volunteering here when I was um, in my mid-teens and basically never left. Um, I did go to college, but because um, that's required for pretty much everything nowadays. Um, but basically, if, if you want to do it, just try and get involved and stay with it. That's incredible. They also have some educational programs here in addition to some camps too, which is great. Uh, can you give us a little tidbit about um, North American river otters that maybe somebody doesn't know about? Can to give us a fun fact about them? So uh, North American river otters are members of the weasel family. Um, and what a lot of people don't know is weasels or mussels, as they're known, have musk glands that when they get a little bit nervous, they can spray. So skunks used to be in the same family. So these guys can spray like a skunk. It just doesn't smell as potent. Oh, that's so interesting. I didn't know that. All good. right, good to know. Listen, want to let you know that uh, entrance into here, the Beardsley Zoo, it's all part of Summer at the Museum, so kids can get in for free. Ah, ah, ah with an adult and there's a lot that's new at the zoo this season every time we come back we're checking out Tom. bears next i think right and uh, i think the last time keith and i were here the exhibit wasn't done yet so we are so looking forward to being able to see what it looks like now we are with indeed. an actual animal in the exhibit too all right we'll say goodbye to these guys over here we'll send it back to you all right enjoy your breakfast my friends